Step three. It's a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about that joke you told me earlier. I know, and you know that's that's the thing about about life. That that's one of the most crucial things. You just gotta laugh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. See, you did yes. it too. It's catching. It, it really is. When when one one person starts laughing, you, it just goes to the next end, and that's that's the thing. You just gotta take all all the crap out of. Oh, I'm sorry. All the hubbub, all the hubbub out of life, and you you gotta turn it into a smile. Just gotta turn it into uh, hubbub. Uh, hmm. Exactly. Ex a hubbub. Hmm. And, and you know, uh, and yeah, and I'm going to pull a quote. I'm going to pull a quote. And for those of you that are following in the book, I am, I am pulling from L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics. And, and for those of you who are following in the book, of course, um, it's on the exact last page. And it's a quote that follows the delta that ends the entire book. And it's below a picture of a bridge. And for those of you who have read the book, it's the bridge to total freedom. And below this bridge is a quote. And this is what it says. Okay. Quote, what sort of of an opinion would you have of the society on the lower plateau if they but moaned and wept and argued and gave no hand at all in the matter of widening the bridge or making new bridges? And it's followed by another quote, and this quote says, In this handbook we have the basic axioms and therapy which works. For God's sake, get busy and build a better bridge. And this bridge, of course, that's the end of the quote. And this bridge, ha, huh. yes. <laughs> and this bridge, of course, is the bridge to, well, L. Ron Hubbard calls it total freedom. I call it optimism. I call it laughter. And you just have to laugh through life. And laughing makes, of course, your face light up. And when your face lights up, it lights up other people's faces, or it confuses them. Uh, one quote I've also heard is that you must smile. It confuses people. And, of course, if they are confused, they're not going to laugh, so you should probably ignore them. But those that laugh are the ones you want to pay attention to because you want to surround your life with laughter. I always enjoy the laugh. Yeah, you do. You know, you really do. And that's why we get along, Paul. We, we love this laughing business. And, and you know, it reminds me of a time. <clears throat> it reminds me of a time when, when I was, oh, probably in either kindergarten or second grade. Mm. And uh, I was on the bus. And, uh, yeah, of course, we had assigned seating and everything on the bus because we were infants. We knew not what we were doing. So, we of course, we had to be told where to sit. Uh, so... So I was sitting next to this one one uh, man. Well, he's a man now, but then I'll just call him a man. This one man named Tony. And all I would do on the bus is crack jokes. And I, th I thought they were good. I cracked myself up, you know. It, 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 it's a skill, making oneself laugh. And, and this, this kid was laughing so hard. And in the middle of a laughing fit, he said, Ha ha. You need to stop. You need to stop making me laugh. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, isn't that weird? He was so, he was so, his gut hurt so bad from laughter that he actually, he actually got a new assigned seat because he was laughing so hard. And I, I was a little bit offended, but you know, laugh it off, you know. I made, <laughs> a, a, perhaps he was about to oh, piss, yeah. I, I'm sorry, he was about to wee his pants. Or, or something of, of some such. And that just makes me reflect on, on my life and how I make myself laugh. And hell, if other people laugh, that I'm a hack. Hack if I make other people <laughs> laugh. <Yeah. laughs> uh, hack if I make other people laugh, that's okay too, you know? You know, I'd also like to share a story about uh, being on a school bus. Mm -hmm. When I was in preschool, actually, mm -hmm. I was riding home on the bus and uh, at, at this point preschool was divided up into two parts during the day and, and I mm. was the earlier part oh, yeah. uh, and I, I was so small that when I fell asleep on the bus uh, 
I uh, I I ended up being overlooked by the uh, people on the bus, and so I stayed mm. on the bus while I was asleep. Oh dear! Uh, and I woke up later. And I saw all these larger kids around me, and I was very frightened. Um, and so I, I brought it to the attention of the bus attendants mm. that I was still on the bus. And uh, they eventually brought me home uh, to my mother. And uh, you Was know, she worried? Did she laugh? She, she, she was worried, but you know what's the key to this story, I think? What is that? Is that we can laugh about it now. Hmm. It was tragic at the time, yeah. but but we can we can laugh about it now. It's a funny story. It is. It and really is. what is the what is also the main point of this? It ends with me getting back home. Yeah. It has a good ending. Yeah. And optimism. You know, exactly. Optimism. And you know, even though it was a tragedy at the time or whatever it was, it was a struggle. In the end, you can laugh about it. And when there is laughter in the end, that means it was a good story <laughs> and it was a good story let me tell you oh well thank you. I, i'm being overlooked i mean how, how ridiculous and that's life you know just a uh, one ridiculous circumstance after another and we can we can only we can only laugh yes we can only laugh <laughs> 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 you laugh. Uh, I am. 